So without further ado, let us go to the Skype machine and say hello to Cigano himself, Junior Dos Santos. Junior, how are you, my friend? Congratulations on the win. Hey, Ariel. Thank you. And now, uh, most I'm importantly, sure. happy yeah. birthday to Bento. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Beautiful. Uh, so you turned two? He turned two, yeah. He's two, two, two years old now. And, and, and when was his actual birthday? And the day of the fight, March 9th. Wow. So so for me, I always have this thing where I, I don't want to miss my kid's birthday. I don't want to be away on my kid's birthday. Did it bother you that you weren't home? Did it hurt? You seem like such a great dad. Did it hurt you that you couldn't be there on his actual birth date? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I would love to be here, but I was doing something, you know, better for not only for me, but for him too, you know. So <laughs> I'm fine with that. Did you show him the video of you singing happy birthday to him in the cage? <laughs> uh, yes, but uh, yeah, he doesn't understand very well, you know. But we showed him like, like dad was singing for him. Yes. Uh, daddy, dad and uh, everybody else. That's right. Do you find that Bento's your, your first and only child, right? Yeah, but uh, we are expecting uh, Maria to, to be born in, um, in May now, you know. Wow. Almost there. I didn't know that. Parabéns to you and your wife. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's our our daughter now. She's, she's coming. That's almost amazing. there. Do At the beginning of May. Do you find that that the way you approach fights is different now that you are a father? That that you have a, a, a you know a different set of of uh, motivation and beliefs now that you're a dad? Oh yes, uh, I think for everything, for everything in life. Actually, I used to say I don't even remember uh what were my goals before of bento you know i don't uh -huh. i don't remember them anymore you know now i have new goals and therefore all my goals uh, have them as uh, involved as priority priority so uh yeah man uh, it's a it's a big mo big uh, motivation in my life but it's also uh extra responsibility you know uh that's that's something curious but, uh, you know, I, I, I care more about myself now yeah. <laughs> than I used to. I, uh, no, before, I used to say, no, I'll, I'll take care of myself. I'll, I'll do whatever, you know, and I can, I can deal with that. But now it's different, you know, and uh, they are, you know, I have to be here for them. One day in 20 or so years, Bento comes up to you and says, I want to follow in your footsteps. I want to be a fighter. Would you be okay with that? <laughs> I wouldn't, but <laughs> why not? But, uh, yeah, it's it's his decision, yeah, of course. If he say that he wants to to do that, I will I will support him all the way for sure. Why, why would you rather he didn't do that? Uh, I, I'm not sure. You know, I you know I love this this sport. I love who I am, but uh, it's a tough sport, man. It's uh, you know sometimes I'm 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 a I'm a I'm a I, I have a lot of success on this sport, but there is so many, much people, you know, sometimes people, really good people, you know, on, on martial arts and they don't get successful. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's hard. It's a very hard sport, you know, and uh, I want him to, to, to pick something, <laughs> something better, something easier or, or not easier, but uh, that takes, uh, uh, that will not, uh, Punch him in the face. Sure, sure. No, I understand. By the way, who's talking to you on, on, on the other side of the camera there? I feel like someone's there that you're looking at. Uh, no. I I, I I was looking oh, okay. to the sides. So okay, fair enough. Um, well, congratulations on the win. What an exciting fight that was. I, I, I'm curious, in the first round, were you surprised that he was able to take those shots? Like, in particular, when you hit him with the body shot, with the spinning back kick, and then it seemed like you got excited and then he caught you. What is going through your mind? Because to me, it reminded me of this famous fight, Scott Smith and Pete Sell. I don't know if you remember this fight where they punched him in the butt, came in and got knocked out. I was like, oh my God, the yeah. same thing's going to happen. What's going through your mind when that happens? Uh, actually, we, was, we were kind of uh, prepared for that. Uh, my, do my coach, Doria, was telling me before of the, on, on our preparation, you know, he was telling me if he feels any of your punches or kicks or whatever, you know, don't go that crazy, you know. You be you have five rounds to win this fight, so don't go that crazy. And I was I was kind of uh, cautious about that, you know. And I uh, I was 
getting closer and I tried to to kick him, you know, and he he did exactly we what were, we were expecting, you know, and he tried to punch me, but he didn't he didn't connect. wasn't He punched my he punched my the back of my leg. Okay, at any point in the fight, did he seriously hurt you? No. No, you were I okay. took a shot here. Uh, here. Yeah. But uh, yeah, nothing. <laughs> I didn't feel anything. Like you know, I wasn't dizzy. I was. I was actually feeling good, very good. You know, I was kind of a. Uh, you know, that's always that's normal. You got a little bit nervous, you know, before every fight because it's very important for for us, of course. But uh, during the fight, man, I was feeling great. You know, as soon as I step in in the cage. I was feeling great, and I was feeling uh, ready to go there and give 100% of me. I remember when you fought Roy Nelson at UFC 117, you told me in an interview that we did back then that you were going to target his belly. He had the big belly. Did you feel the same about Derek Lewis? Were you trying to target his belly? Yeah, I like to. Yeah, I like to do that, you know, to hit, uh, to hit my opponents on the belly, you know, to mix it up, you know, head and belly, bo head and body, because uh, I think it's, it, it allows me to, to connect my points better, you know, and they are not expecting for, for, for that, you know, they don't know where the points are, uh, are going to hit them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, it was part of my strategy too. But uh, like I said, I was, I was getting patient, you know, I was getting, uh, trying to, to follow the strategy and, and see, uh, because he's very dangerous. He has a lot of power. So I, I couldn't just, uh, you know, impose myself the way I want. I couldn't collide against him. You know, I had to have a more, you know, to be smarter. The, the finishing sequence, did you initially slap him? It looked to me like you slapped him with your left and then you hit him with the right. Was that a slap? Yeah, it was kind of a slap. I wasn't trying to slap him or something, you know. I was just trying to position uh, his head in the place that I want. Wow. <laughs> so I was, I was gonna, you know, put your head over here. I want to punch over there. <laughs> That's incredible. Have you ever done that before? Oh yes, I, I do that a lot. But uh, but uh, normally I have my my hands closed. <laughs> okay. Has it ever worked that well? Like that was the finishing sequence of a fight? Uh, yes. No, no, I, no, not to finish a fight, but uh, I did. I did connect the punch. Yeah. The same uh, uh, right hand, and you know, and uh, the my opponent felt the felt the. That's was incredible. Kind of dizzy. Yeah. So yeah. You're, you're literally just placing his head where you want it to be, so it could be a target, yeah. and you knock him out. Yeah. That's amazing. That's a great move. Um. So okay. So like I said, that's three in a row now for you. And you know when you fought Cain Velasquez at UFC 155. After that, when you lost your title, it was like one win, one loss, one win, one loss. It's been a while since you went on a winning streak. How do you explain this? Because I think everyone was sort of, you know, saying, okay, it's been a nice run for Junior. His chin is no more. He can't take a punch. And now all of a sudden, you have fought three very tough guys, hard hitters. You've won them all. How do you explain this, this winning streak as opposed to what was happening, you know, a few years ago with those alternating wins and losses? I don't really know, you know. Uh, actually, you know, people, they have sometimes... Sometimes things things doesn't work the way you want, you know, and uh, uh, negative things happens in your life. You have to to be able to go through that those those kind of things too, you know, and uh, keep uh, keep moving forward, keeping looking for for what you want. And I, I knew, man, I was I was there all the time, you know. Sometimes uh, you got cut during a fight, especially in a heavyweight fight, you know, and it it can happen with anyone. It was, it was, uh, I was living this, this weird moment, but uh, I, I'm feeling great as I was always feeling, you know. Maybe I, I uh, mentally, I had, uh, I allowed myself to have doubts on me. And even with Bento now, I can tell you, I don't, I, I cannot allow myself anymore to have doubts, you know. Huh. So I have to go there and take care of the job. And uh, whatever, whatever happens, whatever, you know. I can do uh, whatever I, I'm able to do. I have to go there and take care of the job. So you were st you were starting to doubt yourself a little bit, like your confidence was low. Uh, kind of, you know, I, because that that those things, especially when I fought Velasquez for the third time, uh, you have to learn rest. You have to improve your wrestling. You have to improve to use your ground game or something like that. You know, 
and I was maybe I was giving too much attention for that, you know, and I was kind of uh, having that um, uh, those um, uh, doubt doubt moments in mm. training, you know. So man, I have to focus on uh, keep my focus on um, what I do best, you know, which is knocking people out, and the rest, of course, I have to train the re the, the other things, but. Uh, it cannot be the, the the main thing, you know. I cannot be worried about that, you know. I have to let it go. <laughs> like uh, in Frozen, you know, she says, "Let it go." <laughs> that's right? it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Let it go. <laughs> that's right. I know. I saw you singing backstage as well. The voice is great. I think you should <laughs> once you retire, focus on that route. I think it would be great for you. <laughs> I said, "My gosh, you you guys are not posting that thing," you know. <laughs> but I was I was too happy, you know. So I. I had my time. That's fine. You you deserve it. Um, I noticed in the post fight interview you mentioned UFC. Please give me work. I, I want to be active. Do you feel like your last fight? When was it? It was in December. Part of that was was July. December first. Yeah. Do you feel like this isn't enough? Like you want to come back? You know, less than three months in, in a perfect world. Uh, make up for lost yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want. I want to keep active. You know, on, on my career because uh, fighting. Like I said before, you know, fighting is not a being, it's not just a being aggressive, you know, knowing techniques. It's about timing. And the only, the only way to have the, the, the timing of fighting is fighting. So I want to keep fighting, you know, th th those, all those times you, you comment ab ab about, you know, that was, I was winning and losing, this kind of things. I was doing one fight per year. Mm. That's, that, was a, that was something bad, you know, for me. So I don't wanna I don't wanna leave those kind of things anymore. So I wanna, I wanna keep active and do a minimum uh, at least three fight per year per years per year. But uh, but of course right now uh, I have to focus on my daughter. You know oh, yeah. <laughs> after this fight after this victory right now I'm gonna take care of my 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 wife and my daughter after everything is is fine here. I make sure she's she's well and safe. Then uh, I'll start my, my next training camp for, for, for my next fight. Maybe the end of August. Let's okay. See. Uh, it seems like everyone afterwards was saying, let's finally see JDS versus Francis Ngannou. You guys were supposed to fight in Edmonton a couple of years ago. Uh, Francis tweeted out a thinking emoji afterwards. I don't know if you saw that. What do you think of that fight? Is that what's interesting to you next as far as next opponents? I don't pick opponents, you know that, you know. Uh, I'm really thinking about uh, uh, everything what's happening in, the, in my career right now, you know. And this, even this thing of not picking opponents, uh, I, I don't think it's a good idea anymore. Because these guys, man, they avoid fighting me all the time. So then when I got relevant, when I got good wins, uh, uh, they want to fight me. I'm not talking about Ngannou, you know. I, like I said, I don't pick opponents. And let's see. Of course, he can be maybe my next fight or, or, or whatever, you know. But uh, uh, this heavyweight division is, is, is kind of living an interesting moment. Yeah. A lot of good fighters, a lot of potential of uh, good fights, but uh, too much conversation, you know. So let's see what's going to happen in the future. Uh, when I, I'm coming back on, on August. I, I get the sense, Junior, that you're a little frustrated that Brock Lesnar is getting a title shot this summer. It seems like that's what they really want. They're, they're, they're holding out. They're waiting for him. DC is recovering as well. It seems to me like you are always happy. You're always jovial. You're always in a good mood. But it seems like this is annoying for you. Is that accurate? <laughs> hey, kind of, you know, and not really. I don't take that, you know. But personally, I don't, I, I don't really care, you know. But the thing is, people, people are talking about this as a, a big thing, as a, a fair thing. It's not a fair thing. It's not, it's, not, uh, it's not even, it doesn't make sense. That's the truth. The truth. It doesn't make sense. If he, he's not even part of this sport anymore, you know. He, now he's going to come back and fight for the title. It doesn't make sense. But, of course, I understand, I understand the side of Daniel Cormier, you know, he's a, a great champion and uh, he wants to make money, as we said, you know, Brock Lesnar has great potential to sell, uh, to sell a lot of pay-per-views. So, man, probably this fight will happen and uh, uh, good for them, you know, I hope I'm going to be watching, you know, the, the fight for sure. But uh, that's, 
you uh, you don't want me to say that's fair because that's not sure. You know? No, I mean, this is a guy who hasn't won a fight since 2010, and they're just sitting around waiting for him, and you're out there fighting the top guys. You've won. I mean, if if I were you, I would feel upset about this. I would be deflated. The whole point of this game is to climb the ladder and fight for the belt. At this point, you don't know what you're climbing for because someone who yeah. hasn't won since 2010 is getting a title shot. Why? That's not how yeah. this is supposed to work, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's true, Ariel. But uh, the thing is... Uh, I'm not worried about that. You know, my goal is the belt. Mm. I want to be the champion again, and I will be the champion again. But I, uh, I'm not in a rush. You know, I have my time. I'll fight and I'll beat all these guys if I need to again. You know, because I did that in the past. I already fought so many of them. I beat uh, all of them. I had some uh, mistakes in my my career. But man, I, I'm you know I'm only 35 years old. And I'm full of energy, you know, a lot of power on these hands. So I'm sure my title shot's gonna come at some point. The most important thing right now is to keep active. Right. Is it is it weird for you to see what's happened to Cain Velasquez? Like to see how his last fight. You guys will always be linked, I think. And and here we are in 2019. You're on the three fight winning streak. He lost in seconds. He hasn't won a fight now in almost three years. Is that weird for you to see? Kind of, yeah, kind of. I, I'm not, I'm not responsible for whatever he does or whatever, you know. I, I am responsible only for my myself. But it's kind of uh, sad, you know, to see the way he lost the the, the last fight because uh, it was too quick. He he didn't had uh, he didn't have the opportunity to show anything, you know. Well, that's the the dangers of any fight, of course. But in the heavyweight division, it's even more dangerous, you know. This kind of uh, possibility to get hit in and, and go down at the beginning of the round. So he wasn't able to show anything. I was, I was very curious. I was very curious to see how would be the, his performance. Here. Because, man, that guy, is, when he fought me, he was kind of, uh, you know, uh, Superman. You know, I was feeling him like that because he was putting a lot of pressure on the whole time. No, no other heavyweight can do that. Uh, you know, maybe Daniel Cormier because it has the, the same style. I don't know, but, but uh, I was very curious about uh, uh, to see that fight, to see his coming back, and he he, he wasn't he wasn't nice, you know, for him. I I was kind of sad to see the way the the, the finish uh, the 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 fights uh, get finished, but uh, yeah, it, it happens. And 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 finally, so to be clear. JDS, if they come to you and say, we want you versus Nganu, you're saying yes, right? Uh, of course, yeah. At, at some, you know, uh, right now, no. Cause, no, uh, I, I mean in the summer, right yes, yes. Yeah, but uh, when I'm coming back, you know, let's, let's, yeah, let's sit down and have that conversation. Okay, fair enough. For now, focus on your family. Congratulations, JDS, on not just the win, but everything that's happening for you outside of the cage. Very happy for you and your wife. And again, uh, happy birthday. How do you say happy birthday in, uh, in Portuguese? Feliz aniversário. There you go. Well done, my friend. <laughs> You're a great fighter. You're a better dad. Much appreciate the time, as always, JDS. Enjoy it. Uh, thank you very much, Ariel. It's, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be talking with you again. And have a good one. Same to you and your family. Okay, there he is, Junior Sagano. One of the top contenders, again, at heavyweight. Who would have thought in 2019 we'd be saying that, that Kane would be the guy who has not fought since 2016, and JDS is on some kind of roll. Great win for him.